Hey everyone, uh, I was just reading the news and I really wanted to make this quick video about how wonderful it was to see Grace Tame win the Australia of the Year Award. I think the fact that she has won and the power of the Let Her Speak campaign uh, and the empowerment that that brings to childhood sexual abuse survivors is so important because a lot of the mental health uh, problems that develop um, with people who have experienced childhood sexual abuse come from the fact that they feel so disempowered and so much of their autonomy, autonomy and power has been taken from them at such an early age. Uh, and so we'll talk a little bit about that. So a bit of background for those of you who don't know, Grace Tame uh, was repeatedly uh, raped and was groomed at a young age by her uh, math teacher. He was, you know, late 50s uh, and she was 15. And this was in Tasmania. Uh, and I guess I want to make the point here to say that like childhood sexual abuse and grooming isn't something that just happens, you know, maybe in a small country town that, you know, no one's heard of or something like that. It is very common. It happens in Sydney. It happens in Canberra. It happens in major cities around Australia. And um, I've seen a lot of people come through the mental health facilities that I've had placements in and uh, it just destroys their life. Now, I'm not sure about um, Grace's history and depth and what were the causes and consequences of things. All I know is that she did have self-harming behavior and developed anorexia nervosa. And I can say that that is a common consequence of childhood sexual abuse. Uh, and essentially it's because all this power has been taken away from this young person that they try and you know, execute some autonomy on what they can control, which is food, for example, in anorexia. And so they control what they do and don't eat. Um, and this can become very serious to the point of, you know, people die from anorexia because you don't eat, you become seriously dehydrated, you get electrolyte abnormalities and your heart stops at, you know, 18 years old. So it's a really serious condition. But the reason that Grace won the Australian of the Year Award, and it's a great story, so I recommend you guys read it, uh, is because she changed the law around victims and what they can say because there were gag orders on the victims about um, sharing evidence of childhood sexual abuse. So Grace, as well as with the whole community in the Let Her Speak campaign, um, helped change that law, which is so important, right? Like the last thing you want someone to, like going through court hearings is a stressful enough experience, especially if you're revisiting like awful trauma. And then to say that like you have to experience this trauma, but you can't like tell anyone whilst the perpetrators can talk openly about it, uh, that's very, disempowering. And I really think that changing this law and uh, empowering survivors of childhood sexual abuse early, uh, rather than having them repress it, often develop mental health issues and problems, and then later rehash it out, which can be extremely traumatic for them. Uh, and, you know, they've had this lifetime of shame because they feel like it's their fault a lot of the time. Uh, you know, empowering them early and shifting the shame from the victim to the fucking, sorry, to the perpetrator uh, is a very, very good thing. And I'm optimistic that this shift of blame and of shame from the victim to the perpetrator will probably help uh, reduce some of the mental health consequences of childhood sexual abuse. And there are many, by the way, like just to name a few, Childhood sexual abuse is associated with obviously PTSD. The PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, is that um, disorder where you get intrusive, really vivid uh, memories, images, nightmares of this kind of trauma that you've experienced and you relive it without, you know, your will. So really disempowering uh, over and over again. Like try and imagine holding a job whilst having these flashing images of the worst thing that's ever happened to you. Like you can't function well. It's also associated with substance use disorders where, um, you know, they're seeking pleasure and relief from this chronic stress they've been feeling through um, illicit substances. It's associated with eating disorders like we talked about. It's associated with emotional dysregulation and personality disorders. And more recently, it's been shown to be associated with uh, psychotic illnesses like schizophrenia. And one of the most um, disturbing parts of the whole story is the lack of remorse shown by the maths teacher, um, Nicolas Bester. And he um, feels himself to be the victim. He's um, self-pitying. He's publicly posted that what he did was enviable and quite horrendous things. He's quite clearly mentally ill. He's obviously um, got hebophilia, which is kind of like uh, 
you know, he's similar. It's a paraphilic disorder, so it's like pedophilia, but uh, to pubescent um, children or adolescents, I should say. Uh, so that's called hebophilia. And uh, it's just like, he has no concept of consent or informed consent, um, no concept of like human development uh, and definitely needs his own, you know, rehabilitation of sorts, to say the least. All right, that's it for this video. Just want to say a massive congratulations to Grace Tame. If you enjoy uh, this kind of content and other mental uh, health and illness educational videos, consider subscribing to the channel, all that good stuff. You can leave the video a like if you uh, want to support the channel. And yeah, I guess just have an absolutely lovely day, guys. Bye for now.